Our English language acquisition program essentially teaches adults, typically non-native speakers of English, so they're here to learn English and uh, obtain skills to, to better integrate into the community uh, for workforce, you know, improve their workforce skills or to transition to college. Our curriculum is contextualized in a way where they learn English and also how to navigate the systems and institutions that they're going to run into within their own community, such as you know, obtaining health care, navigating their children's educational systems, and get those job readiness skills that they'll need to, to get a, a living wage or a dependable job here. In addition to our core programming, we also offer something called integrated education and training. They participate in college certificate programs, typically in manufacturing, information technology, healthcare, and we provide the supports, the language supports, as they go through those uh, college tracks. I have been teaching ELA classes at COD since 2019 for adult education. The students are with me in an advanced ELA class, so I see them for those classes and then I also go with them into their CSPD courses, which stands for Central Sterile Processing and Distribution. Basically, they are learning how to become central service technicians, and so those are the people in the hospitals who are uh, decontaminating and then sterilizing used medical devices and equipment so that they can be then reused. It's pretty cool because the students get a certificate at the end of the program and it's only two semesters long and then they get to do their clinicals and then they get hired by these hospitals and they've gotten you know, an excellent job in just a short amount of time. When I came here, I, I don't know any, any English. I just say yes and no and thank you, that's it. But ELA classes help it to help it to me to improve my, my language and to contact with my friends. I take ELA with, uh, with ICAPS. It has helped me a lot to understand about medical terminology. It, it's so hard, but it's helped me to understand. And now I work at uh, Elmer's Hospital, at Surgical Service Department. Most of our classes are within the communities. They're not here at the main campus, although we do have classes here. Um, we partner with middle schools, high schools, businesses, we partner with community-based organizations and uh, host classes at their organizations. So we have more than 30 locations throughout the district and we try to, again, meet the students where the need is. Like COD does an incredible job making them accessible to the community because they have so many different classes offered off-site. They are working to make sure that these are accessible for you know, so many students, whatever their work schedules are, whatever their daily obligations are, um, their family situations. They work so hard to provide all of the resources that students need to be successful.